Good morning, you guys. It is cold today. I can feel the chill in my basement. It's always bad when you work out because your blood's all flowing and then you start to get cold after. <laughs> oh, we need to warm up, which we are going to do today. If you are joining me live this morning, just say hey so I know you're here. If you're doing this later, just hashtag replay below so that I know you stopped by. We are going to warm up together today. You are going to need a booty band and a bench or a chair. We are going to do a thousand squats today. We are going to do a lot of squats because all of you really need to work on your squats. So. I figured why the heck not. So I have personally have a bench, but if you have like a kitchen chair or something like that, just something you can sit on, something that's sturdy um, and you're not going to fall and hurt yourself. So grab that, grab a band. We're going to do a nice uh, warm up. We're going to do our workout. We're going to do a stretch and you are out of here. So nice and quick. 20 minutes and it's going to go by fast because we have so much fun today. We are going to do squats and planks. This today you might plank more than you've ever planked in your entire life and that is perfect. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do it together. So I'll give it about, I was on a couple seconds early, I'll give it about 30 seconds but if you are here with me live just say hey so I know you're here. Um, I know that you're doing it and you're not skipping out on your workouts and then if you're doing it later just hashtag replay below so that i know you stopped by you did the thing <clears throat> all right i'm gonna start my timer we're gonna get started all right you guys let's Start with some leg swings. We are going to work our legs and our core today. It's going to get spicy. Took me a while to figure out what to do with you guys today. I almost thought about just doing like a relaxing, a little bit of a stretch, but we kind of went the opposite direction and we're going crazy. So <laughs> you're welcome. I blame it on my kids. My kids were wild this morning and they made me wild. So it's their fault. Three, two, one. A beautiful other side. And my booty is sore today. So it's going to be fun. But 20 minutes is nothing. We got this. And a whole lot of planking. Ooh. Good. Really try and keep that belly button in nice and tight. Just a swing in the leg. Good. Three, two, one. Beautiful facing forward. Let's open up those hips. We are going to do a lot of squats today. So knee up, nice full circle and down. Good. Make sure you breathe today. And again, I do not want you squatting without your bench or your chair. You made a deal with me that you were not going to for the net this entire program. So you better have your bench with me. I did a lot of squats yesterday and I actually used my bench the whole time because <coughs> excuse me, it really helps me focus on form. <coughs> this damn cold is still like holding on. All right, let's go for three, two, one. Beautiful. We're going to take knee up, nice big pull. Open up the glute. Flip it back. Quads. Same thing, other side. Nice big pull. Flip it back. Good. Try not to hold for too long. Just warming up here, loosening the muscles a little bit. Is anybody else ready for spring? Like, is spring coming? When does spring come? So I'm ready for it. 
Good. I hate to snow. I ask myself every day why I live here. Oh. Snow and the cold. Good, last one here. Nice big pull. Flip it around. Shake it out. Band is going on. It stays on for the next 18 minutes. You guys, we are gonna do squats, parrot layered, layered, paired with planks this entire time. So you're just gonna listen to my cues. We're gonna start with just a basic squat. We are gonna do some different kinds of squats. So feet are hip width apart. I want constant tension on this band. The second you feel it loose, it is because your form is off. Look down, your knee is middle of your foot. Today, I'm going to dial in on your guys' form. After this, you should be the queen of squats, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna push through our heels and stand right up. You're gonna trust that your bench or chair behind you is going to catch you. Push through your heels, stand up. When we are standing up, we have a nice soft bend in our knees. We don't ever flatten. We don't want a flat butt. We are doing squats because we want a nice butt, yes? If you are squatting here, you need to stop. You should be sitting upright like you have a chair behind your back and you have a string on your head and someone is pulling you up. Watch your knees. Put a mirror in front of you so you can see what you're doing. And if your knees are falling together, you know you have really crappy form. Fix it. A band is so beneficial when learning squat form. Now double check. Have your knees shifted forward a little bit? Do you need to push your butt back? Good, really focus you guys. I want you guys to have beautiful form. It's really hard because I can't see you doing it. So all I can do is give you every single possible cue that I have in my little book to make sure that you guys have perfect squats. Good. We're here for about 30 more seconds. It is going to get spicy. Your legs are going to get tired. Your knees are gonna start falling together and your form is gonna to start to get crappy. Fix it. Push against that band. Your outer glutes should be on fire. Good. I know mine are, so yours must be. Drop, push it up. Good, we're gonna drop down right into an elbow plank. So, elbows underneath the shoulders, feet straight back, belly button in. I don't want any of you up here. I want you here. If you have to, do it from your knees, that is fine, but you still need to have a straight back. And breathe. Good. Again, I'm gonna challenge you guys quite a bit today in your planks, so get uncomfortable. When your body starts shaking, good. Let it shake. So many of you quit when it gets uncomfortable. The difference between that and a lot of other people is they push when it gets uncomfortable and that's when the change happens. So you need, if you came here to change, you need to start getting uncomfortable. Every single day you should be doing something that is outside of your comfort zone. Three, two, one, relax, back to the bench. We are now gonna do sumo squats. So you're gonna go feet outside of hips. So wide, same form, knee is middle of your foot. Do not let your knees fall together. It's going to be harder. Push against that band, push through your heels, pull it up. Mind is in your glutes. That is all you are using right now. Do not let your knees fall together because they're gonna want to. Very nice. Head is up, not between your knees, our heads. Do not belong between our knees for a reason. Keep them out of there, good. Chest up, if I had a string on your head right now, you'd be up nice and high. You are not going forward, you are going straight up. Good. Woo! 
It's band in my bum. It's spicy. Good. Stay with me. My goal here is to really have your legs crying by the end. Specifically your glutes because your mind is in your butt right now. Yes? Good. Good. Squeeze the glutes. Stand up. It is the start of a new month. What are you going to do this month different than last month to make it even better? You're going to show up. You're going to get goddamn uncomfortable every single day. You're going to lift a little heavier. You're going to push a little bit longer. And I can guarantee you the results you wish for will come. Three. Two. Last one. We're back down into the elbow plank. I know. Elbows right underneath the shoulders. We're not back here and we're not up here. We're directly under. Feet are together. Back is flat. I do not want you up here. You are here. And if you can't be here, then you are down on your knees. Breathe. I know. I did a lot of planking in my workout this morning and my abs are on fire. But we're doing this together, so it makes it that much easier. We're all fighting. Good. You're halfway now. Yes, I know. Your arms are starting to shake. You're feeling uncomfortable. Maybe a little bit emotional because that uncomfortableness pulls out emotions. Good. Let it pull it out. Whatever you're holding on to, let it go. Ten seconds. Five. Four. Do not drop. Three. Two. One. Bring it up. Amazing work. We're going to go into narrow squats now. So, feet are going to come together. Knees are going to come together. These are going to be hard, so if you have to have a tiny little bit of a gap, that is okay, but I'd love to try and see no gap. Again, try, but if you can't, then a tiny little gap is okay. So feet together, driving through your heels. Goal here is to not let your knees fall apart, so squeeze them nice and tight. Your band will probably fall off, and that's okay. We're not focusing on band today, or today, on <laughs> this exercise. Push through your heels. Stand straight up. Again, goal is to squeeze your knees together. And you're going to fight to go straight up, not forward. Good. If at any point you're struggling and you're like, this exercise is horrible, it's so hard, please send me a video, you guys, and I can help you. Sometimes it's just like one small tweak and then your squat is perfect. So if you're ever struggling, please send me a video. Again, if your band falls off, let it. We don't need it right now. Good. Driving through heels. Your feet are still flat, but we're pushing a lot of our weight into our heels so that we can use those glutes. Good. I want you all to check. Knees are still middle. If they went too far forward, pull it back. Good. Whew. It's going to get real fun after this. Get ready for it. Good. Squeeze those glutes. We're going to go for three. Good. Two. Last one here. Bring it on up. Good, fix your band, because we're gonna need it after. Drop down into that plank. I told you, it's a lot. Fix your form. Focus on breathing through your belly button. Tighten your core. Nice, deep breaths. Again, when it gets uncomfortable, fight it. It's all in your head. You are so much stronger than your mind tells you. 
once you start learning how to out talk your mind that is when you become so freaking powerful because our mind tells us some crazy shit and if we can out talk it we can do anything five stay with me you do not drop yet four three two one beautiful we're gonna go pulses we're gonna do squat pulses so back to that regular squat feet hip width apart what you're gonna do is you're gonna come halfway up and what i want you to do is squeeze only your glutes if you feel this absolutely anywhere fix your form your mind is in your butt and your butt is lifting you seriously your butt is the only thing that is getting you off that bench I know it sounds crazy and it might you might just like sit there and not be able to move and that is okay because I want you to focus on that muscle and mind connection so just halfway up we're not going all the way up three two one go so just lifting dropping right back down all glutes if you have to reset put your mind back in your glutes and then do it that is okay do not let those knees come together Woo. yeah good small movement but oh it burns good I know it's hard your knees are wanting to go forward right now and they might be so I want you to fix it for me personally I have a mirror right here my knees are not moving they are not moving nowhere good tension keep that tension on that band those outer glutes are crying they are crying for you to stop right now and we're going to in three two one oh my bum take it on down we're back in that plank and then we're going to do that with sumos oh it's going to get spicy three two one squeeze Belly button is in nice and tight. Good. Hold, squeeze and breathe. You guys have less than five minutes left of this workout. What can you do better? What can you do better? You're not giving up yet. Stay with me, fix your form, drop that belly button. You're slowly going up, release it back down. I know it gets hard. That's the point because it's correct form. 10 seconds, stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to your bench or your chair or whatever it is you're using. All right, we're going feet outside of hips. Again, it's going to be hard. Your knees are going to want to fall together because you have to push against your band. Knee, middle of your foot. We are pulsing again, so halfway up. Three, two, one, go. Mind is in your bum. Mind is in your bum. Watch that band. The band is going to be the hardest thing probably for you right now because it is tight. I know. Good. Just pulsing. And I want you to try and fight when your body just wants to fall back down. That is where I want you to use your band and your glutes. And I want you to try and control it. I know that sounds crazy. Just try. Whoo! My bum! I know. I know. It's burning. It is burning! Stay with me. Stay with me push against that band push against that band oh my word see i'm struggling but i know if we do a couple more that is where we get stronger or our butt cramps so much we can't feel it one of the two go let's do one more oh quickly wiggle it out good take it down we have a plank Elbows under shoulders, 
feet straight back. Belly button is in nice and tight. Whoo! My bottom is burning. <laughs> it is on fire. Come on, you guys, we're almost done. Almost done. This is the last plank. Make the most of it. Make it a little prettier. Straighten out a little bit more. Pull that belly button in a little bit tighter. Breathe a little bit deeper. Three, two, one. Relax. Take that band off. You guys, that was it. We're gonna quickly stretch those glutes because I don't know about you, but mine are burning. So what I'm gonna get you to do is you're gonna take that left leg up and over that right. You're gonna sink down into a chair. You should feel that nice pull right through that back glute. Whoo, it's burning. Nice work today, you guys. I hope that you take something from this and start using it. Fix your squats. Don't be, ever be afraid to use a bench. Like notice the difference in your like muscle engagement compared to not. It makes a really big difference. Go, let's switch sides up over. Sink it down. Even if I'm training clients in the gym and they're very advanced, I often put them on a bench especially if they're lifting heavy weight because you can put your mind and your muscle that much more than trying to focus on trying to lift a weight. Oh, my bum. Three, two, one. Shake it out, relax. We're gonna take left leg up. Nice big pull. Belly button is in. Another week just about done and dusted, you guys. If you have not signed up for that next program and you're hoping to do that next program, it is filling up really fast. I've had a lot of new people reach out recently, which is amazing because more people want to change their lives, but it is filling up fast and I would hate for you guys to not get a spot. So remember, you do have that discount code. Use it. Claim your spot. So let you for sure have a spot in that next one. It's going to be way different, completely changed, but it's going to be good. Other side. It will be a continuing program now, so you can either renew every eight weeks or not. There will be no more gaps between programs once we start this next one. Um, there is a gap just so I can set up the new programming and stuff, but there will be no more gaps. You'll just go from eight weeks to eight weeks. Or there is that option to sign up for a year and you save just about $800 signing up for a year. So that is one year of workouts and nutrition. So you don't have to worry about signing up for programs. Every eight weeks, you just get put into every single program, which is awesome and fun and something new. And I love how much you guys are all loving that option already. Beautiful, relaxed, that is it. That is all, you guys have the best day ever. Stay warm. It is cold. I will talk to you all soon.